from mental slavery, taking a decision for people they don't know that only a certain look in this country can be the look of success. And I am looking on 40 faces of success right now. And guess what? The idiot clue about what success looks like. And don't let me get started on the hands. The only person that can direct your path that lives on earth is the person you see in the mirror. Or because it's 2019, the person you see in the selfie. And I don't mean the selfie with the filter, where everybody turns reindeer. I mean the proper selfie without the filter, where you see the gap between your two front teeth and realize that the people at this school that tease you about that gap in your smile will say, hey, me ignore when you're on the front page of Vogue magazine as a Or the students at Oris Clark High that did tease you about your bowling when you play football for the reggae boys. Them guys said, oh, they didn't know him from school days, you know. Because we are that generation of Jamaicans. Well, more you than me. I'm on my way out. Retired from many things. And still other things to discover that I can still do. But your generation, more than your parents' generation, is the generation that can determine what success means. There are professions that you will become that not on their soul. Because if I didn't ever tell my grandmother, well, everybody has two grandmothers or so. If I didn't tell my father grandmother, so I'm go parliament and help to decriminalize ganja, should I lift him and hug me up? But if I didn't tell my mother grandmother, so I'm go parliament to decriminalize ganja, should I say no food for you today until you come back to your rightful senses? <laughs> and as life would have it, Mame, my father's mother, who was a Rasta, died before I became a parliamentarian. So I answer for character for our grave. Said so the ganja plant them, which did have run a yard, are now legal. Well, only five are legal. Um, yeah. oh, only five are legal. But my mother's mother, the one who raised me, was alive when I told her, after she did already hear on the news, that I was a candidate for the PNP. She was also alive to tell me a dream she had, and when none are dreaming of, Lord God, when none are dreaming. She was also alive to tell me about a dream she had that I was swimming in a river, and the river did clean and pretty, and then the river turned dirty, and a lady dropped in the river, and I pushed her onto the bridge, and then when I hold up my hand to ask her to pull me back out of the river, she step on my hand and continue walking with some other people across the bridge. And the other people then did have on pretty clothes. And you, my grand picnic, lay down in the muddy water. Three months later, there was a protest in my constituency. And the number one thing in the protest was Price of Elephia. So she told me when she heard that I was going to be a candidate for politics, she said, your grandfather planted that in your head and dead gone left you. But remember this, the same set, forgive the language, my grandmother was born in 1915. We say, Hosanna, Hosanna to Jesus. Turn around and say, crucify him, crucify him. And I mention that because you are going to no longer be under the watchful eyes of the teachers at Horace Clark. So you are going to have to hear the Hosanna, Hosanna, and know whether it's a sincere praise or it's a crucify him, crucify him or her waiting to happen. You see these parents and members of the community in front of you? I want Uno to give them a round of applause. Because every graduation exercise has basically two graduates. The graduate in the gown, and the graduate that didn't make it to be a graduate in the bowl. And the distinction is usually the parent or the guardian that dropped the lick, give up the hairstyle, give up the new clerk, 
give up the new clothes so that they can see these graduates. And there are only two parents at a graduation. Those present, and for the fathers present, big up on yourself. I hope we're not just here because it's a ceremony. I hope we're always going to be here. But more importantly, as was the case at my graduation, big up the grandmother there and the mother there present. Because there are two parents at every graduation exercise. The parent who is just here because them daughter or them son make it this far, and the parent sitting silently going through in the memory of how me and the picnic they cuss and fight till to the day we can see them a take step and a go up or them a graduate. And I want Uno now to give the graduates around. Every graduation exercise. The teacher that took over the responsibility of their students' life as if their own life depended on it. And the teachers that said, They say, Are you? Leave you to time. He said, I'm leaving me to time, you know. Because I don't know, said, so do the work and the work right. And I couldn't understand why the light skinned student with the straight hair and driving in fifth form to school. We turn on and tell the teacher, so they're already richer than the teacher will ever be. Still I get A, and me now we have to fret, oh, I'm going to show my mother this grade, only get C. But there was something called CXC. That did not know last name, it just know ID number, praise God. And CXC gave a grade linked to the content, not linked to the context. And that is the root that you all have to take. The MC said, and the song said,